Hello my friends and welcome to your complete guide on sandwich making in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I never thought I would say that. Anyways, we're going to go through all of the Pokemon sandwiches that you can make. What they do, their effects, all the different recipes, how to unlock new recipes, some of the best recipes, and a bunch of stuff like that. So if you guys do enjoy this one, if you find it useful, be sure to stick around for more. And without further ado, let's not waste any time and jump straight into this. Now, first things first, there's two things to keep in mind. There's ingredients and there's sandwich shops, right? So you can see these sandwich shops in all these different towns and villages. And if you go up to them, or go into them rather, uh, there's two things we're going to need to do here, okay? The first thing is that you could just go ahead and make some kind of you know pre-made sandwiches there's not a big selection here there's only like five and there's again there's sandwich shops across all these different towns and villages but they're all the same shop they all have the same sandwiches and they it's, it's all the exact same and they all have this guy standing next to them now if you go speak to this guy um as you progress through the game as you unlock things, items, uh, as you get new kind of uh, uh, ingredients and things, and just as you progress, uh, he's going to have a little speech bubble above his head. Again, you go to any sandwich shop, and when you speak to him, he's going to talk about, you know, well, in my case, I'm a little bit later, but uh, he's going to talk about new recipes. And originally, he's going to give you a whole bunch of recipes that's going to unlock a ton. I mean, a ton of recipes. And as you progress, he's going to say things that are going to be like, you know, get this, and, and we got to come back to him with that certain uh, ingredient. And then when you come back to him with said ingredient, he'll give you even more sandwiches. We're going to come back to him a little bit later, but let's uh, exit here and continue this. So before we get into the actual sandwich making part, let's talk about ingredients because you're going to need ingredients. Now, you can actually just make all these different sandwiches without the recipes. If you find, you know, any specific recipe online or different things like that, if you just know the ingredients for a said recipe, you can actually go into creative mode. I'll show you guys that in a second, but there's two separate locations that we're going to want to go to. It's the Artisan Bakery, which you can find in many uh, towns and villages uh, and just different things like that. This one's actually located on the Academy uh, campus, and you'll find all kinds of ingredients from ham, lettuce, this onion all kinds of different stuff by the way the silver the different kind of picks you're gonna need to uh, put into your sandwich so you buy some of these I don't think any of these matter I don't know why some of them are more expensive they look different they look cool but they don't seem to have any kind of different effect so just buy the cheapest one silver red whatever one or if you want to you know waste your money and buy the more expensive stuff if you got money to kill uh, then you can go ahead and do that now so the first one's the artisan bakery and then right uh, kind of next to it not like right right next to it uh, but right over here there's actually going to be sure cans. So artisan bakery and sure cans. Again, I'm going to show you guys what they look like on the map. But here you can buy a variety of other kind of ingredients like, you know, bananas and pickles and tomatoes and kiwis and different things like that. Rice, noodles, whatever, and so forth, right? So those are two of the uh, area, uh, two of the main places you're going to want to go to. Again, you can find these different kind of shops uh, pretty much anywhere. But there's one here. There's one here. Uh, I think there's actually some on this side here, too. Um, wait, artisan, Ar artisan bakery and these sure cans. I think there's, yeah, there's a sure cans right there. Uh, there's, uh, there's, there's a bunch. There's another artisan bakery down there. I don't know why there's so many here. Anyways, uh, and there's another one up there. So yeah, those are those are the two spots you're going to get the most ingredients from. And then there's actually a third spot because there there is this place here like the deli. You can go here if you want and it's going to have a bunch of like fresh produce, but there's actually a third place that will probably give you even more ingredients. So let's head over there right now and uh, show you guys what you can get from the third location. All right, so for this one, we're going to be going to Lavincia. Uh, we're going to go to the northern spot, uh, Lavincia North Poker Center. If you have the fast travel spot, I'll show, I'll show you where it is on the map. It's just kind of like, well, this is where the school was kind of head northeast and Lavincia is just kind of here so we're going into the the uh the the northern section i don't know what just happened there i think uh josh.exe stopped working anyways if you go over here there's going to be a supermarket uh and the supermarket is going to have even more ingredients like i said so you're going to have a bunch of stuff that you can see at some of the other places we also going to have stuff that weren't at the other places such as like salt and pepper and butter actually i think butter was at the other location i don't know but either way if we go through this list you see they pretty much have like everything you can ever imagine they have all kinds of peppers they have uh marmalade which again i think some other places have uh tofu and wasabi which i don't believe other places did have horseradish curry powder all that stuff so what i like to, to do is i usually just buy like i don't know 10 or something uh you buy whatever you want whatever you can afford at the end of the day i'm actually starting to run out of money here so i don't know how much i actually can buy but just buy a few of like every ingredient if you want to or whatever ingredients you specifically need um you know i just like to have all kinds of ingredients on hand at any given time so do that and we can go ahead and start making some sandwiches 
All right, so now that we have our ingredients, we can go ahead and start a picnic. You're going to push X on the controller and then uh, just click picnic. And you're going to set up a picnic. You can't do this on slopes or in certain locations. You obviously can't do it in towns or villages. So find a nice kind of flat surface somewhere. And you're going to set up a picnic with all your Pokemon. And then you can go up to the table and you can click make a sandwich. So that's how you're going to be able to actually make a sandwich. And when you do so, you can see that there's a... Well, I got a bunch of recipes because I've talked to uh, the recipe guy like we talked about earlier. And uh, again, for that, you just need to progress through the game. And he'll unlock more recipes for you as time goes on and all that good stuff. Now, uh, for example, right? We can look at this... Uh, uh, ingredient or this sandwich right here and um, by the way I have like 146 at the time of recording this already unlocked and there's still more sandwiches for me to unlock um, so I got ham and butter right this this is the ingredients required now I can click a to make this sandwich or I can push X to go into creative mode creative mode is where you can go ahead and add whatever ingredients you want uh, to create whatever kind of uh, recipe you want again if you know what the recipe calls for then you can just go ahead and do that you don't actually need to have the recipe unlocked which is pretty insane so in this case what was it again in this case we had okay I just exited out the whole thing in this case we had I think it was ham and butter right so ham and butter so if we go into creative mode I can go look for the ham and I can go look for the butter and so if I go ham and then I go let's say the butter wherever that is because I have so many different ingredients it's unbelievable do I even have butter okay so we have the ham and then we actually have to push plus button to go next to go to the condiments and that's where we're going to find stuff like our butter so if you don't see all your ingredients in the first page press the plus button and that's going to bring you to the next section as you can see in the bottom uh kind of right corner of the screen there is two sections split by like a little kind of bar in between there's the kind of ingredients the fillers and then there's the condiments so anyways that's where you're going to find the butter so if i put ham and i put butter and then i press next uh, and then I just choose whatever pick you want. Again, it doesn't really matter which pick you're choosing. Uh, it's going to go ahead. It's going to slap on the butter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place the ham. Now, this is one thing that is very important. It doesn't matter if you're doing creative mode or it doesn't matter if you're doing your own recipe. Make sure that you place all of the ingredients properly because if any of them spill off of the uh, sandwich, if you don't make it right, if any of them fall on the plate, uh, you're going to mess up the sandwich and it's not going to be considered the correct sandwich. Very, very important. I'm going to repeat that again uh, in a bit. But anyways, just get that part down, Pat, because that is crucial. So there's our ham sandwich. You're just going to push the A button to kind of continue. There's going to be a whole cutscene. You're going to eat it. You're going to chomp down on it. And uh, basically what you're going to see is that it's going to be uh, what the recipe called for. But again, I didn't need that recipe unlocked in order to actually create that sandwich. Again, if you guys don't have that recipe unlocked and you go stick on butter and ham, you're going to get this. The jambon beware, beware, beware. I don't know. Um, I, a lot of my family's French, but my French sucks. All right, so you can see I got, I, that's, I made that sandwich without going through the recipe. This is just creative mode. And you can see that I got some buffs at the top right corner. So let's go ahead and talk about the buffs because this is very, very important as well. That's kind of the whole point of making sandwiches. All right, so if I'm hovering over any particular recipe, you can see that at the bottom right corner, there's the meal power. There's three things that it usually does and it goes by level. There's level one, level two, and level three. Obviously level three is gonna be the best version. It's going to be uh, the highest probabilities of whatever it is. And there's different kinds of categories. So there's encounter power, there's title power, humongo power, there's egg power, item drop power, all these different things, right? So what do all these things what do all these different powers do what are they so basically encounter power will be stuff like there's going to be more encounters for said type so in this case this one says encounter power ground so that means i'm going to encounter more ground type pokemon there's going to be way more spawns of ground type pokemon in any given kind of place doesn't matter where i go there's going to be way more ground type pokemon and then it says raid power for example so uh and then catching power so in this case catching power for for this example uh is bug so that means any bug type pokemon I'm going to have an increased chance of being able to catch them. Then you have all kinds of different ones, right? So I'm just going to scroll through these as I kind of explain uh, what some of them do. Uh, so for example, there's EXP power uh, or EXP point power. And basically what that does, it's going to give you more XP, right? So uh, for, you know, whatever, uh, whatever Pokemon are in your party right so again you want an xp boost that's what that's going to do item drop power so you may notice a certain uh uh kind of pokemon drop items right and those items can usually be sold 
at the at the uh, poker centers for you know LP. Well, that's going to increase the items, the amount of items that they drop uh, from those enemies. So if, if the item drop power, for example, it says you know from from rock type uh, Pokemon, then it's obviously going to be for those specific ones. So if it says rock type, but you go do like a fire type Pokemon, uh, don't expect more item drops because again, it's specifically for the rock type. J just for one example, right? Then there's egg power. Egg power. We're going to get into a little bit more of this section in, in a different video, but uh, it has to do with breeding. So you're going to get more eggs, higher breeding rate. Um, so if you want like you know uh more chances of of, of breeding and and a lot more eggs then uh, use egg power and you will get a lot of eggs trust me i've tried it and it actually it actually works it's insane but anyways again but with the breeding thing that's kind of a different topic we'll get more into breeding in a different uh, video if you know how to do it then uh, the, all you need to know is that egg power is going to increase your uh, higher breeding. Catching power, we already talked about. And then there's also raid power, which is going to be more rewards from raids. Is it going to increase uh, how many rewards you get from said raids? So for example, this one we're hovering over is psychic. So for psychic raids, I'll get more rewards from, from those. Uh, just for one example. Uh, then we have like kind of, you know, pointless ones like humongo power right here. Uh, so any poison type Pokemon will have a greater chance of being a larger Pokemon because obviously Pokemon can vary in size. It could be smaller ones and bigger ones. If it says teensy power, that's going to mean that you're going to encounter more smaller Pokemon of that type. Uh, again, it's kind of pointless unless you care about that for whatever reason. And then also with like title power, uh, more chances of the Pokemon having a title, right? So again, these are kind of, you know, pointless ones in my opinion but if it's something that means something to you then there you have it and then finally we have one that is is what everybody is going to really probably want the most and that's sparkling power now sparkling power is going to increase your shiny rates okay so we're going to get into the whole shiny guide in a different video uh but to put it simply your your rates are typically one out of 4096 and with uh the sparkling power it will increase your your odds by about four times uh and all, all these buffs by the way doesn't matter what it is if it's sparkling power if it's item drop encounter catching they all last for about 30 minutes uh so yeah it's gonna increase from 1000 out of 490 or one out of 4096 to about one out of like 1024 give or take uh again that's uh, you know depending on the level obviously of the sparkling power um you know sparkling power level three is kind of like optimized and ideal uh but yeah beyond that uh there's now these other ingredients called herba mystica so let's get into that section we got to cover that at least a little bit all right so this is where things start to get a little bit more complicated so remember this guy i told you about we we're going to come back and see well, when you beat the game, and yes, you have to beat the game, uh, eventually he's going to talk about this special recipe. There are five of the Herba something or others in all. Now, this is something you're going to experience through one of the paths, the story paths, you know, with the Titans and all that. So just make sure you beat the story and the whole game. You have the credits rolling and everything because you're going to have to unlock uh five and uh, above star raids so five star raids six star raids and eventually seven star and all that so you're gonna have to unlock those and the only way to unlock five star and above raids is going to be to beat the game uh and then and that's the only way that you're going to actually be able to earn these uh recipes so again we're going to talk to him and he's going to give us recipes based on every uh herba mystica we bring him so um for example there's sweet sour salty spicy uh and bitter uh, is that five? I think that's five. Anyway, so each one that you have, whenever you have it in your inventory, if you bring it to him, he's going to give you more recipes. So I actually had a spicy one. I brought it to him and I've unlocked spicy uh, kind of uh, sandwiches that I, I can now craft. So again, every time you get a Herba Mystica, make sure you bring it to him and he's going to give you a brand new set of recipes for that Herba Mystica category. And eventually when you bring them all five, you're going to have all of the different recipes. Again, you don't need recipes in order to make these things. So, you know, you just look it up online and things like that. But let me explain you first how you get these Herba Mysticas because like I said they're from five star raids and six star raids now I'm gonna throw up a, a bunch of text on screen and you can see some stats and some information uh, so Herba Mysticas from five star raids have a 2.5 percent chance of dropping and from six star raids only a three percent so it's very very low unfortunately uh, and some of the Pokemon uh, that drop all kinds of Herba Mystica, so they're not any kind of specific ones, because there's Pokemon that will drop only specific ones, right? Certain Pokemon that will only drop spicy, but if you want Pokemon that will drop any of these Herba Mysticas, well, these are the ones you can find. So for five star, uh, you know, a Amoongus and Blissey and all, all these other ones, uh, any of those five star raids are going to have a 2.5% drop of, of dropping any of the Herba Mysticas. Then for the six star, 
again, very similar kind of uh, lineup with uh, with the, with the Pokemon, with a couple other you know swaps and, and uh, exceptions, if you will. And again, these are going to be a three percent drop uh, of possibly getting Herbamist because of of any variety. Okay, so again, these are the ones that you, you're going to want to look for if you want to get just any one. Again, certain Pokemon will drop uh, certain Herbamisticas as well. Like I said, you know, certain Pokemon will only drop. Uh, spicy so you know just look at all these different five-star raids try to find them try to find these specific ones if you don't find any any in any specific day just wait for the next day unfortunately uh that's how it's going to have to work and uh you can you know the 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 dens are going to be reset i'll show you what they look like really quick though so if you open up your map you can find these dens they kind of look like these little kind of diamond star things i'll show you one where it's not kind of covered up so this one for example you can see this is a ghost type so it's, it's good that you can see the type too this is going to be an electric type fairy you know so on and so forth um if you go up to them they look like this uh and you can actually just go up to that press it, press a and then you can encounter it to see you know what uh, how many stars it is so this is only a four star it's not what it really i'm looking for so you know i got to find those five star ones but what you can do it's going to actually challenge it, click challenge as a group, but I'm in offline mode. So if you want to actually search for other players, you're going to back out of this. You're going to press X. By the way, you get 1200 LP anytime you interact with any den for the first time. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. So you're going to push X and then you're going to go uh, push L to connect the uh, to the Internet. It's going to communicate. You see the top right corner. It's going to go from offline mode um, into online mode. It's going to save your, uh, your, your game first and then it's going to... Uh, connect you online now that i'm online if i go to the den and click challenge as a group it's actually going to search for people i'm not going to do it because i don't want to actually jump into a raid but it's going to search for people now if you ready up and click you know start right away without you know there being a full team it's actually going to autofill with ai and the ai is actually not bad they've they've saved me in even some five star raids where it's just me and three ai so if you don't have any any, any internet connection or anything like that you can still do these raids again the ai are pretty good uh in and of themselves and of course you could change your pokemon depending on you know what kind of type it is so that's how you do the raids that's how you find you know the five star and the different ones and different things like that uh but we got something else which is pretty cool all right, so for this next part, uh, I cannot take credit for this one. This one actually is coming from Austin John Plays. I'll link his video down in the description below. Um, but these are some very, very helpful kind of, I guess, recipe charts, if you will. Again, I'll link his uh, video if you guys want to go check it out uh, for yourselves. But the first one is um, some pretty good some pretty good uh, recipes that are going to require Herbamistica. So what he says is that you use any of these one kind of ingredients plus two, any two of the Herbamistica. So for example, for the fighting one, if you want to encounter uh, more fighting Pokemon, again, this is for sparkling, right? Again, we'll go a little bit more into this with a, a shiny guide, but for the fighting one, you could choose either pickles or potato, a tortilla or a strawberry. You pick one of those and then any two of the Herbamisticas. So you can choose, you know, sweet, salty, bitter, uh, spicy, whatever. Now, what I do recommend and what also he recommends is you do not use your salty because salty is going to be used for some even better recipes. So again, uh, you know, take this, these recipes as, as, as you will. It's going to increase the odds of these different type of uh, Pokemon. So for example, you can actually see on the map when there's going to be like an outbreak of a certain Pokemon, it's going to be kind of like a flashing, like uh, almost ghost-like appearance behind the the, uh, symbol of the Pokemon. Uh, if I could find one, hold on, let me let me see if I could find one on the map. Okay, so right here, for example, we have this Pokemon here that's spawning, and you can see there's kind of like a, a flash. I can't, I, don't, I can't even tell what it really is, the symbol behind it, but it's like a purple ghost looking icon. I don't know what it actually is. But this means there's an outbreak of that type of Pokemon right here on the map, right? So the idea is that if there's a certain type of Pokemon, like I see there's an outbreak for this type of Pokemon, I want to make one of the recipes that I threw up on screen previously, uh, one of those recipes, and then go to that encounter spot. Because again, what these recipes are going to do is increase the uh, the sparkling, right? There's, I believe, all sparkling three recipes for that type. So again, you know, whether it's bug or whatever, so for whatever outbreak it is. So... That's kind of how you find the outbreaks, and that's kind of the method for doing that. But there's actually more to this. So there is actually another chart of recipes coming from Austin John Plays once again. I'm going to throw it up on screen. Now, for this one, this one is actually specific uh, because you don't want to use these for outbreaks, right? So this is for Encounter and Sparkling 3. So you're getting Encounter 3 and Sparkling 3. These are the, the, the prime recipes. And the way this works is you're going to encounter more of that type of Pokemon and you're going to increase the chances by them being shiny, right? So again, 
again, you know, you throw in a shiny charm into the mix and you're getting some pretty crazy odds. You catch like 60 of those Pokemon. I think you're getting into like this, like one in 600 range of, uh, you know, your odds. It's pretty insane. You know, if you really, really, really capitalize on all these different methods. So what these uh, kind of do is you don't want to use these for outbreaks. It's just going to mess everything up. Uh, and yeah, it's just the point is don't use these. Use the previous recipes for outbreaks. Use these only for non-outbreak scenarios, okay? So if you're trying to encounter bug type Pokemon, you wanna increase the encounter rate and the shiny rate, well, these are like the best of the best. But the thing is, is that you can see that almost every single one of these requires at least one, actually they all do require at least one, and most cases require two Salty Herba Mysticas. So Salty is gonna be the one that you're gonna be chasing the most out of all these Herba Mysticas. These are gonna be the ones that you want uh, to have uh, a huge stack of so again coming from Austin John again I'll link his video down in the comment section below but he has a super super helpful chart that I want to share with you guys here as well I'm sure most of you guys are already subscribed to him but if you're not then again I want to share it with you guys too and again you can go watch his original video but Look at this chart. These are all the different five and six star Pokemon that you can find specifically Salty Herba Mysticos from. So for the five stars and the six stars. So for example, you know, the five star raids include Slowbro, Cloyster, Gengar, Blissey, you know, so on and so forth. Now, again, keep in mind the rates, right? It's like 2.5 for the five stars, 2.5%, and then 3% for the six star raids. But hey, I mean, you just got to have to grind it out and try to get as much Salty Herba Mystica as you can. And again, you know, if you want to increase your encounter and your shiny rate, that's how you're gonna do it again we're gonna go more into shiny uh hunting and different different stuff like that hopefully in a different video but i wanted to cover that really quick because it kind of fits into this category and this theme as well which has to do with making sandwiches so yeah that's pretty much that so i hope that helps you guys out i think that covers everything if there's anything confusing or anything that you don't really understand uh leave a comment i'll do my very best to kind of clarify anything that maybe you're confused of but uh, i hope this just kind of helped you understand the whole sandwich making thing again sandwich making is crazy crucial in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet for so many different things. Very beneficial. Highly recommend you get kind of the gist of it all and that you kind of, you know, try to do your very best to uh, kind of, uh, you know, make all these different kinds of sandwiches. Again, you, I'm sure you can find a whole list of recipes online of every single kind of recipe so you don't actually have to necessarily unlock them and you can start making them as early as possible in creative mode. But that's that. So again, check out Austin John Plays uh, video down in the description below because, uh, like I said, I used like three different of his charts to share with you guys here, uh, just in case some of you guys haven't seen his video already. But uh, again, he goes, he takes it on from a different angle as well. You know, everybody, every content creator kind of has a little bit of uh, something different to add. So it's always worth checking out a uh, variety of people on various topics. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did, stick around for more. Uh, subscribe for all this Nintendo and Pokemon goodness. And uh, I hope it helped you guys out to uh, at least some extent. So I'll see you guys soon. Another one. Stay safe, stay well. And until then, my friends, game on. And thanks for watching.